Hi, Sunday School friends. It's Mrs. Russo. We are journeying together through Lent. And Lent is a special time where we stop and we go slow down a little bit so we can really decide if we are letting our faith be in charge of our life or if we're pushing our faith to the side so we can live our lives in our own ways. This week, I want us to think about the word mercy. Sometimes love and mercy go together for people, and they can, they can. So I want to talk a little bit, I want to read a little bit in the Bible to see what mercy is. Have you ever heard that word, mercy? Okay. Let's see. Let's read a little bit from the book of James, chapter 2, verses 14 through 17. My friends, what good is it to say that you have faith when you don't do anything to show that you really do have faith? Can that kind of faith save you? If you know someone who doesn't have any clothes or food, you shouldn't just say, I hope all goes well for you. I hope you will be warm and have plenty to eat. What good is it to say this unless you do something to help? Faith that doesn't lead us to do good deeds is all alone and dead. This is a pretty tricky verse for people who just want to say that they're Christians and don't want to do anything about being a Christian. That's what mercy is. What do we do? Do we look at another person who's cold and hungry and we do something about it? We help them get warm and fed? Let's do a little craft today to remind ourselves that we are people of Christian action. Our works alone are not going to save us. Jesus is very clear about that. We can't just try to do a bunch of good things if our heart is not pointing to God. We don't do those good things for ourselves. We do them to glorify God. It is faith that leads to mercy, not good works that lead to salvation. <laughs> Lots to think about. Okay, I'm taking a piece of paper and a scissor. You can pause right now if you want to go get a piece of paper and a scissor. I'm going to start cutting, mm, I don't know, about every inch. Just strips, but don't go all the way up. Just like there. Don't cut them all the way off. Yeah? We're going to be weaving. So I want you to just cut, cut, cut all the way up. Have you ever tried to weave before? It's in and out, in and out, in and out. Good. Now, as you're cutting this, I want you to think of people who have helped you. There are people who have helped you in your life. Maybe brushed you off when you fell down. Maybe wiped your tears when you were sad. Maybe got you a drink if you were thirsty. How did that make you feel when somebody helps you? Makes me pretty, feel pretty warm and fuzzy. Have you ever helped someone else? Maybe you were able to comfort somebody who was scared. Or maybe you were able to offer encouragement to someone who was, who was struggling and not feeling sure of themselves. How does it make you feel when you are the helper? Pretty good. So now we're going to start weaving. What I've made, you can make these too, I've made little strips that give little Bible verses or little words of encouragement for me to remember. Let mercy be your first concern. That's going to go in my mat here. I'm going to go over, under. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Okay, there's one. 
the Son of Man did not come to serve, not to be served, but to serve. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go the opposite here. So this was over. Now it's going to be under. You see? Now it goes over and under. It goes opposite. Over, opposite my yellow one. Under, over, under, <clears throat> over, under, over, and under. I'm going to keep going. You can find lots of different Bible verses, but it doesn't have to be the Bible verse. Oh, here's one from our story today. Faith without works is dead. Over, under. So we're just going to keep weaving these words. And these are going to be a reminder for us that our faith and our mercy, our love and our service, are woven throughout our lives. It has to be part of us, part of what makes us tick, part of what makes us happy is to help others and show mercy to others. What about this one? God blesses those who make peace. We're going to weave these, weave these acts of mercy, of peace, of helpfulness, into our lives and show mercy and love wherever we go. You can keep going. I have lots of different ones and I'm going to keep going too. You can put ribbons through there. You can put pieces of fabric through there and you can weave mercy and love throughout your life. I pray that for you today, friends. See you next time.